Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Today I'm going to make some comfort food for myself. Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, do some uh, home uh, homemade uh, fried chicken. Okay. Now uh, let me let me start frying, and uh, then only I uh, I start to explain a little bit here. My oil is a bit it's already enough. Uh, it's hot enough. So basically, I need <coughs> this is uh, we need to start deep frying uh, using a uh, medium heat oil. And then um, we are going to do a uh, two times frying. Up, uh, use medium heat oil to fry it until it is cooked. And then um, it, until it is about 80-90% cooked. After which we are going to uh, use high heat to give it a second second fry again. Okay, that is to give it a the extra crispiness on the surface of the fried chicken. Okay. So what do I do just now? I actually had the uh, here. I had uh, three pieces of chicken wing and one thai and cut it to into uh, bite sizes after that I marinate it using some fish sauce and uh, pepper and a bit of salt okay and put in a little bit of um, cornstarch with uh, egg yeah with an egg um, after that you just uh, cook your egg uh, cook your, your, your chicken with uh, any dried chicken fried chicken flour that you can find from the market okay and the one I'm using today is actually given by one of my followers uh, I don't know how way from where she got it but uh, I think this is a product from Pera okay and that's it that's, uh, that's how simple it is um, the trick here is probably to do a double fry use a double fry to really bring out the crispiness the outside and the, and, uh, the juiciness from inside okay can you see the beautiful golden brown color she actually told me this is uh, this will look very very uh, very close to a KFC of course in the internet there are many uh, secret recipes on how to you how can you make a KFC uh, KFC uh, flavor fried chicken. So it's up to you whether you want to try or not. Today I'm uh, a bit tired, so I just use the instant one. Okay, this is a comfort food, and um, luckily my uh, mother-in-law helped me to cook some uh, radish soup already just now. So it will goes well very, it will goes very well with the radish soup later. Okay, we're coming after this when I do the double fry. Okay, this is after about 5 minutes deep frying here It's already cooked, my chicken is already cooked It's a bit golden brown already That's why I actually took this one out and uh, cut Yeah, and cut it, cut it into the middle and it is already cooked Okay, so I'm actually going to remove it from the medium, medium heat oil Onto uh, Kitchen tower. Okay, you can actually see it's almost it's also quite golden brown really. And I'm going after removing, I'm going to uh, raise it to high heat. Okay, so this is this is my uh, chicken right now, stage one. I'm going to raise it to high heat right now. I noticed this uh, this particular fried chicken flour. I think they already added in, they probably added in some uh, 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 yolk powder. I don't know why is it called in uh, English. Yeah? It's actually a powder uh, made by uh, the chicken, chicken egg yolk. Okay, so now that the, the temperature has rise, 
I'm going to throw this in for another 10-20 seconds just for the sake of uh, giving some extra crispiness and golden brown color yeah mm, the tears are very beautiful very nice big fine sound right now stage 2 frying you don't need you don't need a lot of time you probably only need like 10 20 seconds you will notice whenever I'm deep frying uh, meat or like a uh, pork or chicken, I'll be using uh, double fry. But uh, I'm not using double fry when it comes to fish, because when it comes to fish, it's going to be uh, throughout the whole process. It's going to be uh, high fire all the way. Okay. Right. So you can see the yeah, getting the golden brown color. All right, you can now remove it. The golden brown color will actually come out even better, nicer when there's a chicken skin. Yeah, without the skin, it will actually not look as good. All right, here is my uh, deep fried chicken today. So if you like my video, uh, let me arrange my chicken a bit. All right. So if you like my video, do share on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click both the like and follow button and go to Cooking Appa YouTube channel and watch all my videos there and subscribe to uh, Cooking Appa's YouTube and uh, follow Appa on Instagram. Remember, Appa is not teaching you how to cook. Appa is giving you ideas what to cook tonight and tonight's idea is fried chicken. Alright, bye bye.